Hey, what's up you guys? The Curious Owl here, and today I'll be reviewing Black House by Stephen King and Peter Straub. This is the second book in the Talisman duology, and I'm going to say right off the bat, I don't have many thoughts of this because I actually ended up giving this book two stars. I was severely disappointed with this. I feel like I wasted my time entirely on this entire duology, but... I don't know. I feel like it's just not my cup of tea. I found it to be very boring. But let me get into the stuff, you know, that is more kind of important, which is the synopsis of this story, and then my likes and dislikes and kind of just general thoughts. I don't have many, but I have a few. So basically, this is, like I said, the sequel to The Talisman. This takes place about 20 years after the events of The Talisman. I do have a review for The Talisman if you would like to go watch it. Also does have a synopsis of this book in that video. But basically, like I said, this is 20 years after The Talisman, and basically we're following this small town in Wisconsin where there is a string of child kidnappings and murders, and nobody knows who is doing it, but they only know that the person is going by the name of The Fisherman. The thing is, though, is that years before there was a serial killer called the Fisherman that somebody is either, you know, reliving or is basically doing a copycat of something along those lines. And one of our characters that we meet in The Talisman, who is the main character, Jack Sawyer, all grown up now and a former LAPD officer who moves to Wisconsin, ends up taking on the case and tries to figure out what exactly has happened to these children, where they've gone, who's been hurting them, who's been taking them. But along with all of that, he's starting to have flashbacks in a sense because as time had gone on between the end of the talisman and the story, Jack had lost a lot of the memories that he had in the talisman. He doesn't remember much of being in the territories. He doesn't remember going to get the talisman to save his mother's life. He doesn't have any recollection of what's going on. But as the story goes on, he starts to get little things here and there that do start to pick away at that wall that he's put up about what he experienced. And so things start to come back slowly but surely as this case unfolds. And we see that there is much more to do with the territories than we thought originally. So I did like this in some sense because I do feel like this had a very similar feel to Dr. Sleep, which was the sequel to The Shining. Now, if you've read Dr. Sleep, you would know that basically that story also takes place years after the original story. And it follows Danny when he's a grown man and he's living his own life. And there's another plot involved where things about his abilities are still very apparent, but there's a whole other aspect of things that he is involved in. And it's kind of almost just like a continuation of Danny's story. Black House felt very similar in that sense with Jack, is that this was more a continuation of Jack's story than anything else, which I thought by itself was a really, really cool concept. I do think that it was smart to think about the idea of what might have happened to Jack further on down the line. It feels separate enough that it basically feels like its own story, where you don't necessarily have to have read The Talisman, I think, to read this, but there are some things about what's happened in The Talisman that do get referenced in here that might make more sense if you've read The Talisman. Like, you could either do it or not, and I feel like either way you would have been fine, basically. However, that is the extent of what I can say about this in terms of good things, because this was the most boring story I have read in a long time. I did finish it, but my god, was it a chore. I felt like I was so bored throughout most of this. And I will say by page 400, we hadn't even really gotten into the territories at all. This definitely relied more on the mystery thriller aspects with some possibility of the territories lurking around in the story, but for the most part this was just a thriller with some pretty horrifying things and graphic details and some woo-woo-woo things going on, but that's kind of the extent of it. I really wanted more things of Jack's past trickle in than what actually happened. I feel like that it wasn't really a story of Jack coming to terms with what really happened and kind of in a lot of ways kind of dealing with the trauma that he suffered in the talisman. I really wanted that to be more of a forefront within this than it was. And unfortunately this still did have a lot of issues in terms with the usage of the n-word and other <sighs> things about it that I didn't care for with the talisman. I feel like it just was over gratuitous. And while the n-word was used in a lot of cases for certain characters, like I have seen with Stephen King in the past, it still felt super unnecessary. And I still felt very uncomfortable through most of it. I just, 
I don't know. I think that the talisman really put a bad taste in my mouth for this, that this just was a travesty. I shouldn't have really read this. I feel like I really wasted my time with this entire duology. If you guys read Black House and The Talisman and have thoughts on it that you'd like to share with me, please feel free to. You're not going to necessarily change my mind if you liked it for any reason, but I would like to hear maybe people who did like it, what you guys really enjoyed about it, because I am willing to listen to like everybody else's opinions on it, but they're not necessarily going to change my mind. I am very set in my opinion of this duology, and I have very many Stephen King books that I enjoy so much more than this duology. This just seems to be the bad apple in the bunch right now. So I don't know. But if you guys enjoy it, you know, that's great. That's cool. Happy for you. Just not my cup of tea, unfortunately. Just it wasn't really that great for me. But thank you all so much for joining me in this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you'd like to be and would like to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owl at Narflock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.